Hi, welcome back to the Brain Maker YouTube channel. Today, we're not going to really make anything new. We're going to fix up this bad boy. It's a corn knife. I don't know what a corn knife is, but this is one of them. Um, I found it in an antique store, and I thought it looked cool, and it would just be a fun thing to fix up and try my new belt sander on that, I don't know, might work. Handles are in rough shape, it's just two blocks of wood wrapped in electrical tape, which is weird. So I'm going to start there, take that off, just kind of see what we're working with, and then we'll probably start working on the blade area. Let's do it! So it wasn't just electrical tape holding those on. There are these ancient rusty nuts and flathead bolts holding it on too. And instead of fighting with them, trying to unscrew them, I'm just gonna use a good old cutoff wheel and cut them off. And it's free. Yeah, in here, that's pretty rusty. So I'm gonna go to the sander, the belt sander now, and just see if I can clean all this up. And I might establish a new, I don't know, I don't know what it's called, a new part here where the blade stops and the handle will come up to. Yeah, whatever that's called. Somebody will probably tell me, but for now, we'll just call it a handle stopple, stopping pointy thing. Technical term. sander wasn't working quite as I expected it to and it's probably not the best tool to use for this anyway I just thought it'd be fun to try but uh, instead I'm gonna give it a go with the old angle grinder which I have not used I, well I've used it once like a year ago for cleaning up a small little piece of metal stuff in a very controlled environment so this is gonna be different than that so essentially this is my first time trying to use an angle grinder. I got a, the 36 grit flap disc on there and we're just gonna try to get down to shiny metal and see what happens. Got a shiny blade now. It's cleaned up. I got a little black off of it, so it's it's not sharpened yet, and it's not fully sanded. So I still got work to do there. But now I want to start getting the handles, and for that I have this what was the middle section of the paduk I used for my notebook journal that I customized. I'll put a link somewhere to that. But it's about a quarter inch thick, which I think is going to be a nice thickness for the handles to get started. 
So I'm just going to cut those out and start kind of getting a rough shape of the handle done. I'm going to go, there's a divot here on this side. I'm going to cover that up with the handle. So I'm going to make the handle a little bigger than it was. So I'll start doing that. So I've got the metal part, the blade, and that's, I think I've sanded as much as I'm going to do. Probably still needs to be sharpened some, but I'm going to wait on that for now. Then I've got the scales, which will be the handles, that go on the handle, and the dowel pins. So I've fit them up, I did a dry fit just to make sure it all goes together, and it does. Before I attach these on there with epoxy though, I want to get the front edges rounded over, so I'm not trying to round over where it goes here, like, I don't want to try to round this part down when it's attached because then I'm just going to scuff up the blade. So I'm going to do that now and then grab some epoxy and squish it all together. All done. I put just some boiled linseed oil on the handle. That'll protect it well enough. It's not gonna really be in danger ever, so that's fine. And it looks better now than it did when I brought it home from the antique store, and that was the goal. So, put Paduke on here because I had a scrap that was already about the right thickness that I wanted. So I just used that. Used a I don't even know, I think it was a pine dowel that I had, just as dowel pins in there, to line it all up. And sanded, shaped. The blade's not super sharp, but it's sharp enough to do the job. Like if you're just gonna hack through a cornfield, it should do it for you. I think that's what these were used for. Like a machete, but corn instead of jungle. I don't know. But it should do the trick. I'm gonna go test it out now. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Oh, before I go chop things with this, I just launched a Patreon page, so I put a link in the description if you want to check that out. Uh, any support I get there, really it just means that I can make more videos and cool content. So, no pressure. If you want to do it, do it. If not, no biggie. Uh, I'm not threatening you with this knife to convince you to go do that. I'm just, it's a cool knife. So, don't feel threatened. 
I'm gonna go chop some stuff now. See ya! Yeah.